I'll be showing eight new features in Microsoft Whiteboard. This includes some major user interface improvements, live text real-time collab, commenting, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is an improved new Whiteboard experience. So I'll click plus here, and I've got this really nice new dialogue that has all these different whiteboarding templates. It starts with recommended. If I've created templates, I haven't here, but I've got to create a new template, which I could create one. If I want to save the current whiteboard as a template. Templates that are shared with me, I've shown that in a previous video, how you can share templates back and forth. And then all these nice categories, brainstorming, problem solving. Many of these have existed, but now they're in one nice place. You can also search across all templates at the top in this field. And if you don't want to see this dialogue when you first pop up, you can uncheck show for new whiteboards. Now, the second new feature is when you choose one of these templates, I'm going to go to brainstorming and choose affinity diagram. You have both preview and use this template. I'll click preview here and it shows that affinity diagram. And at the upper right, I can scroll through and look at all of these different templates, mood board, topic brainstorm. In this case, I want to choose topic brainstorm and then click use this template. Now I just go here and click and it pulls this full topic brainstorming template in. The third new feature is that you'll notice the toolbar is across the bottom in Whiteboard. It used to be over on the right hand side, now it's down at the bottom and it's been consolidated. For example, the inking part of the toolbar is under this little ink button. So if I click inking, it pops up all my little ink tools. If I click on one of these, I can drill in, I select again. I get all the different options and I'll come back to that a little bit later. So the inking toolbar is down at the bottom. So things like creating new notes or reactions or commenting or other things are all down at the bottom. Also in the lower right, you're going to see these zooming in and out. So I can zoom out here by clicking. I'll click the plus on this one to zoom in more. And if I want to go the fit to screen, I just click this button and it fits everything right on the screen. And just like in the past, if I click and drag, I've got all the panning. I can go back and forth just like that. The fourth new feature has been one of the top long time requests and that is commenting. I'm going to zoom in right here and I'm going to leave some text. Let's say that someone has left some text on a note and I want to leave a comment on this. I have a couple ways to do that. One of the ways is I go down to the little comment bubble and choose new comment. And then I go up here and I can click anywhere and leave my comment. The new commenting feature is great and then just hit send. And what's nice is I can move this around on the bubble. So you can have lots of people leaving different comments right on your note. Just click and drag makes it really easy. And you'll see my little bubble has my icon next to it. I'm signed in as Kara Coleman in this demo account. So she's right there. Also, I can go click here and you're going to see there's a little comment option here. So I can also click new comment from there and leave a different comment. We'll close that. Other people who are signed in can also easily leave comments anywhere on the whiteboard. If I want to get rid of the comment, I can click on it, hit the three dot menu and delete it, or I can edit it if I want to make updates to that comment. The fifth new feature is a great one. It is live text when you're typing inside of whiteboards. I'm going to show this with two different accounts signed in and show how that real time text will show up across accounts. So give me just a second and I'll set up my boards. I've got two different accounts here and both have this affinity board open. On the right side is Kara Coleman and on the left side is another person. You can see that this person is right here in Kara Coleman's note. Now what I'm going to show is on the Kara side, I'm going to click and type and watch on the left hand side how real time it is. It comes up in real time and over here you can see that Kara Coleman is in the note just like I can see the person here on the other side. Other things you can do is add images and highlight and bold. So in this case, I'm going to go over to the left hand side and add a note as this account. So I'm typing on the left hand side and I have underlined the text. We call this live text and this is rolling out in October of 2023. It should complete by the end of the month if you're watching this video later. The sixth new feature is improvements to text inside of notes. Now in this case, I've added a nice little image here and I'm going to go and select some text here, hit the three dot menu and you have some options. You can copy the text, you can duplicate the text, you can edit alt text. So if you want to add alt text to this object for people with low vision or blind, you can do that. You can bring to front, you can send it back or lock. So if I click lock here, now this note is locked and no one else can change it. If I want to unlock it, I click right here. But right now this is locked. 
Again, if I wanna go and do things like duplicate or copy, I have those options as well. I'll unlock it and then I get all my options back. So I go here and you have all these great text options. The seventh new feature is opacity when you are inking. I'm gonna launch the little ink toolbar down at the bottom here and I'm gonna click on the red pen to click it again to bring up the thickness right here, I'm gonna make it much thicker. Now the new aspect is you now have opacity. So in this case, I've got ink six and opacity 100. So drawing right here is 100% opacity. I'll go back, click again, pull up that, and we're gonna make the opacity just about 50%. So there it is 50, and if you wanna edit it exactly, you can go right here and make it 50. Now when I draw ink, you can see it's a little more see-through. So you've got a lot of options to play with opacity and ink. So in this case, I'm gonna go rainbow ink with 15% opacity, and I'm gonna circle right here. You can see it's quite light and see-through. The eighth new feature is expanded reactions. If I go down to the bottom and click on the heart to add a reaction, you'll see that there's a set of reactions. So if I wanna add a party, yay, party on that, makes it nice and big. If I wanna add fire, that's pretty hot over there. And then lastly, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna choose a heart because I really love this one. So there's expanded reactions and they're nice and big and also people can add thumbs up. That's a feature that's existed, but it's very easy for folks to go and give thumbs up to notes as well. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.